Have you ever found yourself standing in the grocery aisle, scratching your head over which foods are truly gluten-free? Or maybe you're new to the gluten-free lifestyle and are clueless about what's safe to eat. If so, this is the video for you. I'm going to take you on a whirlwind tour of 50 gluten-free foods, unmasking the ones that are truly gluten-free and revealing the ones that are sneakily hiding gluten. From the everyday items in your pantry to the exotic foods you've been curious about, we're diving deep into the world of gluten-free eating. And trust me, there are a few surprises in store that you won't see coming. So buckle up, get your shopping list ready, and let's embark on this gluten-free journey together. By the end of this video, you'll be a gluten detective, ready to decode any food label that comes your way. Ready? Let's get started. First up, we have whole grains. Did you know not all whole grains are born equal when it comes to gluten content? Some whole grains are part of the gluten club, while others are naturally gluten-free. Now you might be thinking, great, I'll just buy the gluten-free ones. But hold on a minute. Even those gluten-free grains can end up with a bit of gluten on them, especially if they're processed in the same facility as their gluten-containing counterparts. Take oats, for instance. Though they're naturally gluten-free, they often share the same processing facilities with wheat. This close proximity can result in a gluten cross-contamination. So, when you're out shopping for oats, make sure to hunt for those that have the certified gluten-free label. Let's dive into a world of gluten-free whole grains. On your menu, you can happily include quinoa, brown rice, wild rice, buckwheat, sorghum, tapioca, millet, amaranth, teff, arrowroot, gluten-free oats. However, there are grains you might want to avoid if you're steering clear of gluten. These include rye, barley, triticale. These grains are usually the main culprits behind the gluten content in products like bread, crackers, pasta, cereals, baked goods, and snack foods. And when it comes to wheat, there are certain varieties you'd want to avoid. Whole wheat, wheat berries, gram, bulgur, farro, farina, durum, kamut, bromided flour, spelt. Remember, gluten can be sneaky, so always keep an eye on those labels. Have you ever wondered about the gluten content in fruits and vegetables? Well, let's unravel the mystery. All fresh fruits and veggies are naturally part of the gluten-free squad. But watch out, some processed ones might have gluten sneaking in, often added for flavoring or to act as a thickener. Some usual suspects that might tip off the presence of gluten in processed fruits and vegetables are hydrolyzed wheat protein, modified food starch, and malt. Now, while this isn't an exhaustive list, here's a sneak peek into the cornucopia of fresh fruits and vegetables that happily fit into a gluten-free lifestyle. Gluten-free fruits you can feast on include citrus delights like oranges and grapefruit, bananas, apples, berries, peaches, pears, and here's a list of gluten-free veggies for your plate. Cruciferous veggies like cauliflower and broccoli, leafy greens such as spinach, kale and Swiss chard, starchy vegetables including potatoes, corn and squash, bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, carrots, green beans, However, there are a few fruits and veggies you might want to double-check. Canned fruits and vegetables. Beware of those canned in sauces that might contain gluten. Those canned with water or natural juices are generally a safer bet. Frozen fruits and vegetables. Sometimes, these come with added flavorings and sauces that might contain gluten. However, plain frozen varieties are typically on the gluten-free team. Dried fruits and vegetables. Some of these might have gluten-containing ingredients. The plain, unsweetened dried fruits and veggies are generally your gluten-free friends. Pre-chopped fruits and vegetables. Depending on where they were prepped, these might have been cross-contaminated with gluten. The world of gluten can be a bit of a maze, but with a little care and caution, you'll navigate it like a pro. Next, let's talk protein. Did you know that nearly all fresh, unprocessed plant and animal proteins are naturally on the gluten-free team? But the plot thickens when we get into the world of processed proteins. Processed proteins often have a few extra guests on board like soy sauce, flour, and malt vinegar, all of which carry gluten. These can sneak into sauces, rubs, and marinades that go hand in hand with your protein sources. And don't be surprised if you find them in some cold cuts as well. However, there's a good selection of proteins that are naturally gluten-free, such as legumes, like beans, lentils, peas, and even peanuts. Nuts and seeds, fresh red meat, like beef, pork, lamb, and bison, poultry, like fresh chicken and turkey, seafood, including fresh fish, scallops, and shellfish, unflavored soy foods, including tofu, tempeh, and edamame. But there are proteins you might want to scrutinize a bit more closely. 
processed meats, think hot dogs, pepperoni, sausage, salami, and bacon, meat substitutes like vegetarian burgers, lunch meats or cold cuts, ground meats, proteins that have been jazzed up with sauces or seasonings, ready-to-eat proteins like the ones you find in microwavable TV dinners, and finally, there are some proteins you'd want to avoid if you're avoiding gluten. Any meat, poultry, or fish that has been breaded, proteins that are combined with wheat-based soy sauce, seitan, navigating the world of proteins in a gluten-free diet, might seem like a daunting task, but don't worry, you've got this. Time to churn the conversation towards dairy products. Most dairy delights are naturally gluten-free, but there are a few caveats. Some dairy products like to party with flavors and additives, and these are the ones you'll want to double-check for any traces of gluten. Gluten might be hiding in thickeners, malt, and modified food starch, so keep an eye out for these ingredients in your dairy products. You can enjoy these gluten-free dairy delights without worry. Milk, butter and cheese, cream, cottage cheese, sour cream, yogurt. But be sure to double-check these dairy products. Flavored milks and yogurts, processed cheese products like cheese sauces and spreads, ice cream, as it sometimes dances with additives that contain gluten. And there's one dairy product you should ideally steer clear of. Malted milk drinks. So while your dairy journey on a gluten-free diet might have a few bumps with a little vigilance, you'll be able to enjoy a wide range of dairy delicacies. Up next, let's dive into the world of fats and oils. Yes, they have quite a reputation in the world of health and nutrition. But here's some good news. They're naturally gluten-free. But don't start the celebration just yet. In some cases, additives carrying gluten might sneak into fats and oils for a little extra flavor or thickness. So which fats and oils can you enjoy without any gluten worries? Here's a list. Butter, olives, and olive oil. Avocados and avocado oil. Coconut oil. Vegetable and seed oils, including sesame oil, canola oil, and sunflower oil. However, even in the realm of fats and oils, there are some you might want to double check. Cooking sprays. Oils with added flavors or spices. Remember, the key to a gluten-free diet is always in the details. So even when it comes to fats and oils, make sure to check those labels and enjoy a healthy, gluten-free lifestyle. Let's raise a toast to beverages. Yes, the world of drinks isn't left behind when it comes to the gluten-free journey. There's an array of gluten-free beverages ready to quench your thirst. But remember, some drinks might have additives that contain gluten hiding in them. Also, certain alcoholic drinks made with malt, barley, and other gluten-packed grains are a no-go on a gluten-free diet. So, what's on the gluten-free drink menu? Have a look. Good old water, 100% fruit juice, coffee, tea, certain alcoholic beverages, including wine, hard ciders, and beer made from gluten-free grains like buckwheat or sorghum, plenty of sports drinks, sodas, and energy drinks, but always check the label for any sneaky additives. Lemonade. Just remember, while these beverages might be gluten-free, most of them are best enjoyed in moderation due to their added sugar and alcohol content. There are a few beverages you might want to double-check. Any drink with added flavorings or mix-ins like pre-made coffee drinks or mixed drinks. Distilled liquors such as vodka, gin, and whiskey. Even if they're labeled as gluten-free, they can sometimes cause a reaction in some people due to how they're processed or stored. Pre-made smoothies. And finally, some beverages to avoid if you're on a gluten-free diet. Beers, ales and lagers made from gluten-containing grains, non-distilled liquors, other malt beverages like wine coolers. Navigating the world of gluten-free beverages might seem like a daunting task, but with a little caution, you can still enjoy a variety of thirst quenchers. Let's spice things up a bit and talk about seasonings, sauces and condiments. These flavor champions often have gluten tucked away in their ingredient lists and are frequently overlooked when we think about gluten-free diets. Even though many of these flavor enhancers are naturally gluten-free, some like to mingle with gluten-containing ingredients, often used as emulsifiers, stabilizers, or simply as flavor boosters. These undercover agents might be hiding under names like wheat starch, wheat flour, or hydrolyzed wheat protein. So, which spices, sauces, and condiments are on the gluten-free friendly list? Tamari, coconut aminos, white vinegar, distilled vinegar, and apple cider vinegar. But here's the list you might want to double-check. Ketchup and mustard, Worcestershire sauce, tomato sauce, relish and pickles, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, salad dressings, pasta sauces, 
dry spices, salsa, stocks and bouillon cubes, marinades, gravy and stuffing mixes, rice vinegar, and finally, a couple of condiments to steer clear of if you're going gluten-free. Wheat-based soy sauce and teriyaki sauce, malt vinegar. So while you're dressing up your food, don't forget to check the labels on your spices, sauces, and condiments. Remember, flavor doesn't have to come at the expense of your gluten-free lifestyle. All right, now let's play a bit of detective and uncover some of the hidden signs that a product may contain gluten. This list will help you decipher those tricky labels and discover whether that tasty-looking item is indeed gluten-free or not. Keep an eye out for these potentially gluten-containing culprits. Modified food starch and maltodextrin. If these are made from wheat, it'll be mentioned on the label. Malt-based ingredients, like malt vinegar, malt extract, and malt syrup. Anything labeled as a gluten stabilizer, soy or teriyaki sauce, wheat-based ingredients such as wheat protein and wheat flour. Emulsifiers. If these contain gluten, it'll be specified on the label. If you're still unsure whether a product is gluten-free, it's always a good idea to reach out directly to the manufacturer to double-check. They can provide the most accurate information about their products and help ensure you maintain your gluten-free diet without missing out on the foods you love. Remember, being gluten-free doesn't mean being flavor-free. We've navigated the exciting twists and turns of 50 foods, identifying the truly gluten-free gems and unmasking those sneaky gluten-containing culprits. I hope you're leaving with a clearer sense of what's safe to enjoy on a gluten-free diet. But remember, the world of gluten-free foods is vast and ever-evolving. So if there's a food you're still unsure about, or if you've discovered a new gluten-free favorite that we didn't cover today, we want to hear about it. Drop a comment below and share your gluten-free discoveries and questions with our community. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening food guides and tips. Let's continue this gluten-free journey together, helping each other make informed and delicious choices. Until next time, happy gluten-free eating and see you in the next video.